So with the current situation going on, and all the social distancing and so on and so forth. I can't have people over to the house on Friday nights to run trains like we normally do. So I think I'm going to make the transition on this track. How I explained in earlier videos was this track is going to get moved over and this track right here is coming out. So there'll be two in the back and the two in the front are going up. This was put in as a temporary measure because I wasn't sure whether this was going to work or not. And so far I've never had a problem with it. My problem area is over by the furnace, which is nothing I can do about that because of the grade. So that's why I never put cork road bed down here because I didn't know what I was going to be doing with this. So it was kind of a temporary measure. And notice how I cut this block of wood on angles like that. So I knew that when the time came and if this worked out, I could just unscrew it and shove it back, back over so that it fits in the appropriate place when the final um, track plan would go together. So I think now is the best time of any to pull this up and relocate it and I also have a problem around this water pipe area in here. If you look down at this level, that back section of track kind of is like a roller coaster. It goes up and down and all over the place. Because the plywood warped, I made the mistake of using half inch plywood. I never should have done it. I should have used three quarters. But at the time... Keep in mind this layout was constructed in 2001, so I've learned a lot over the years. So I'm going to also fix that problem. I think I'm going to box that whole piece in and run a 2x4 the whole length of that, and that hopefully will solve that problem, and then I don't have to change it. Because it is half inch and if I made it three quarters, I'd have to go through and cut every one of those legs down. And I don't want to go through all that. So it'd be easier just to run a piece of 2 by 4 the whole length to straighten that out. So I'm actually on vacation from work this week and this would be a good time to try to tackle that. Also... This interlocking that I put in in September as a test, these are number six switches. They're going to get upgraded to number eights, which I knew that, but I already had half the switches already in anyway. They've been there for years, so to make it easier and to test this, I just used number sixes at the time, and I believe I didn't have enough eights. So compare this switch, which is a number 8, to that switch in back, which is a number 6. So there's quite a bit of difference. Actually, there's a pencil mark down there where the interlocking would stop from the current location here. So anyway, that's a overview of what it looks like now. And hopefully, when I do another video, it will look totally different. So that's what's going on here. I gotta move all these cars out of the way. I gotta move all these cars out of here so that I can get in here to work on this. And I'll probably do a thorough track cleaning in the process. Anyway, thanks for looking.